Hello, and welcome to this edition of Putting the Word to Work. Our lesson today comes from a multi-part series called Biblical Conflict Resolution. Specifically, we'll be talking about the five internal barriers to communications. Let's begin. When it comes to communicating with other people, the barriers we experience internally are mo far more forceful than the ones we encounter externally. What do we mean? Number one, for example, is our limited perspective or our world view. That means the number one barrier to my ability to communicate effectively with others stems from my own ability to see how the world impacts me as well as how my perspective of the world and others impacts the situation. So the first internal barrier to communications is my own limited perspective and my own limited worldview. In addition, the circumstances that are at play within any conflict are always influenced by individual perspectives as well. So the number one barrier to internal communications is our limited perspective of ourselves, of our world, and the circumstances we are contending with. Number two, the second internal barrier to communications is our own insecurities. That is my feelings about how I fit and belong into the place, the people, the positions, even the business that I may be working through or with. These insecurities cause me to feel threatened, hurt, angry. They may even cause me to feel inferior or uncomfortable dealing with the people around me. The higher the levels of my insecurities, the more likely I'm going to react self-defensively or blame others in the middle of challenging confrontations. Number three, the third internal barrier to communications is our inability to manage strong emotions. Now, if you're not familiar with the concepts of emotional intelligence, there are four essential quadrants. Those emotions or emotional intelligence, my ability to navigate them, includes my self-awareness, my emotional awareness of how I feel about circumstances, situations, individuals, my ability to manage my own emotions. That's how well I am able to interpret my emotions, label them accurately, and then think through the processes that allow me to navigate those, those emotions in effective ways. The third emotional intelligence quadrant is social awareness. That's simply being aware of the emotions of others and how my interaction influences how other people feel. And the final quadrant of emotional intelligence is relationship management. That's being aware of how others feel about my interactions with them and then my being able to adjust my, um, adjust my thoughts, feelings, etc., in the relationships, creating positive interactions with the people around me. Number four, the fourth internal barrier to communications is when we feel that our feelings are discounted, disregarded, or rejected by others. Now, feeling discounted, disregarded, or rejected creates within us a reflection of those emotions. It causes us to experience rejection as well. When we feel that we are rejected by others, those emotions become deep-seated in our own sense of well-being and we don't respond or react to others as if uh, we are valued or as if we matter. Number five, the fifth internal barriers to communications is experiencing the effects of power struggles. Power struggles happen when two individuals 
facts, look at a particular circumstances and discern or, de or decide that there is not enough of power, of flexibility, of opportunity for everyone. And they begin to struggle in their own way, pulling at that opportunity as if they have to take what they need for themselves so that they don't see there being enough for everyone. And so power struggles happen between parties when they're in conflict and especially when those parties cannot discuss or acknowledge those struggles. So let's review the five internal barriers to communications. Number one, our own limited perspective of the world. Number two, our own insecurities. Number three, our inability to manage strong emotions. Number four, having our feelings discounted, disregarded, or rejected. And number five, experiencing the effects of power struggles between conflicting parties, yet not being able to discuss or acknowledge these struggles. These five barriers happen on the inside of us, and yet they control to a vast degree the level of communications that happen outside of us. We hope this short and simple lesson on the five internal barriers to communications helps you resolve conflicts more effectively. All conflict can be resolved when you use the biblical principles that guide our personal success. Thank you for listening to this session, Biblical Conflict Resolution, Five Internal Barriers in our Putting the Word to Work series. Make it a great day.